How far away is that? 2,000 kilometers? Just imagine it. He used to live by the sea there, sending signals to ships, and now he's here. I mean, that's kind of sad, right? Anyway, I was wondering, could you talk to him a little every now and then? Well, have a good shift. You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, about time. That fucking bot almost killed me. Sunny. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. Kettle's there, help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? <clears throat> Regarding Shush. the reports. Your beloved Sachinov, son. I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry Corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of- Are you? Our Atomic Heart Project My. is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. 
How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else, and the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class Sechenov. will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population, the launch of the collective neural network, Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water? They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences, but I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. You're a sharp old bird, Granny Zena. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Let's just say you're lucky I felt like looking after you. Why did you? What's special about me? I wanted to see if you're a real man or a pussy. Harsh. That's what it takes to get through a thick skull. How did you survive anyway? I didn't. I'm dead. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What kind of stupid ass question is that? I ought to grab my ladle and smack you on the head. I'm trained to survive, so that's what I did. How are you tracking Sachinov? Same way I track everybody else. Technology, Sonny. Let's just say I've got a fancy hut. You've got a fancy glove, and we don't ask each other where they came from. Deal? Fair enough. That's a weird pet you got there. What's so weird about her? I make some pretty special tea, I'll give you that. But this is just a plain old chicken. What? That's a joke. This is Facility 3826. It's like the Emerald City. Haven't you ever seen a chip chicken before? 
Can't say I have. Actually, I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, go ahead and take a look. Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. I really appreciate the help. Wait. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? A little bird told me. Tell the Kraut things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or...
You're a sharp old bird, Granny Zena. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Let's just say you're lucky I felt like looking after you. Why did you? What's special about me? I wanted to see if you're a real man or a pussy. Harsh. That's what it takes to get through a thick skull. How did you survive anyway? I didn't. I'm dead. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What kind of stupid ass question is that? I ought to grab my ladle and smack you on the head. I'm trained to survive, so that's what I did. How are you tracking Sachinov? Same way I track everybody else. Technology, Sonny. Let's just say I've got a fancy hut, you've got a fancy glove, and we don't ask each other where they came from. Deal? Fair enough. Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones, in a facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything like that. I was... kinda busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. Charles, who is this Granny Zena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Nah, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. Finally in the system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera. We've got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. Okay, let's open the gate. Hey, it works. That's great news. This is definitely going to come in handy. I don't see anything I can interact with, but I sense that the scanner in your glove can be activated while accessing the video camera. Let's try it.
Even more enemy signatures, Major. You're about to have a serious battle on your hands.
shit, where do they keep coming from? A bumblebee robot is delivering them from a nearby factory.
Astrologers announced a week of Atomic Heart. The number of enemies has doubled.
Receiving data. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P-1. 